sa previous video pinag-aralan natin yung uh, paggamit ng uh, and saka or or uh, paggamit ng union and intersection of set sa uh, interval notation no? so dito sa video na to magpa-practice tayo kung paano ba uh, i-translate yung uh, set notation sa sa interval notation at the same time paano siya i-graph no so for example meron tayong uh, number line at uh, yung una natin, x such that x is less than or equal to 1, or x is greater than 2. No? So, pag we can, uh, we can uh, graph this separately. No? So, nandito yung 1, kumare tapos nandito yung 2. No? For example, this is 1 and this is 2. Now, what happens is that... Uh, Kasama yung 1, di ba? Kasi may less than or equal. May equal siya eh. Ibig sabihin kasama yung 1. So, pwede natin siyang i-draw a solid uh, point. No? Tapos yung 2, hindi siya kasama. So, empty siya. No? So, usually, nilagay natin siya na empty na circle. No? Or, yan. Tapos, less than or equal to 1. So, ito yan, di ba? Yung part na to, mas maliit sa 1. This is the number line, by the way. No? Tapos yung isa naman, mas malaki sa 2. No? So, we can, we can use this. O, sobrahan yata sa laki. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, uh, this is uh, from negative infinity to 1. Negative infinity to 1. No? Tignan nyo yung sign. Eh. Pag, pag hindi kasama, uh, parenthesis, pagkasama yung 1 kasi solid siya. Ang sign natin ay uh, square bracket. Tapos, kasama niya rin to. So, mag-union tayo, di ba? Pag pinagsama natin. 2. Hindi kasama yung 2 kaya parenthesis. And then, infinity. Yung katabi ng infinity, palagi siyang parenthesis. Hindi ka pwede. Wala ka makikita ang infinity na nakalagay na ganyan. No? I think because... Hindi, hindi number ang infinity and you cannot equal infinity. No? Okay, so that's our first graph and first uh, interval notation. Let's have our second graph. X is not equal to 3. So, meron lang tayong isang exception yung 3 lang. Yung ibang number okay na siya. So, for example, ito yung 3 natin. We just have to nah, just have to put Empty circle, this is 3 for example. We just have to put the empty circle there and then put the solid line here. Solid. Yan. Okay? So, of course, may arrow yan no? on both sides. At papano natin yan sa interval notation? And then, from negative infinity to 3, from negative infinity up to 3. Hindi kasama yung 3. And then, the union of neg of 3 up to positive infinity. Pag hindi kasama, parenthesis, pagkasama, square bracket. Number 3, x is not equal to uh, positive or negative 1. So again, hanapin mo yung positive and negative 1. For example, dito sila. For example, dito. Positive. For example, this is negative 1 and this is positive 1. So, ganun din. Hindi sila kasama. Not equal. Ibig sabihin, ah, empty new circle. Actually, point yan. Hindi talaga siya circle. No? But, pero, pero syempre, hindi naman natin yung represent yung point. Talaga may dimensions yan. No? Uh, kahit 0 0.1, 0 0.01 centimeters. But, uh, hindi sila kasama dito sa graph nito, no? So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya kasama. So, we have to, we have to put the solid, yun, solid graph doon sa in-between. Okay? So, paano yan? Paano yan isusulat in interval notation? So, we have from negative infinity up to negative 1. Negative infinity up to negative 1. Hindi kasama. So, parenthesis. And then the union from negative 1 to 1, negative 1 to 1. Yung part na to. And then from 1 to infinity, 
from 1 to infinity. Okay. So, yan yung ating uh, uh, notation. No? Third, we have uh, may and tayo dito. Remember, or ito pinagsama-sama lang natin. No? So, medyo kakaiba itong and kasi ang pinag-uusapan natin dito intersection. Diba? Remember, sa previous video, ang and ay intersection at saka or union. No? So, most of these are actually union. Actually, all of these, all, the, all of the three are union set, union of sets. Dito, ang uh, greater than 2 siya but less than or equal to 4. So, so for example, nandito yung 2 natin. Uh, maybe I'll use different color. How about a uh, little bit of pink? Strawberry. So, this is our um, 2 and this is our 4. Sabi niya, uh, greater than 2, no? So, ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi siya kasama, no? Medyo, magdodrawing muna tayo sa taas, ano? Kasi hindi siya, yung result ang kailangan natin, eh. So, greater than 2 siya. This is greater than 2. At the same time, what else? Greater than 2 and less than or equal to 4. So, this is 2, this is 4. Less than or equal to 4. So, may solid line tayo dito. Tsaka, meron tayong arrow na pag -anong. Okay. Ito yung greater than 2. Ito yung nasa baba. Tapos yung x less than or equal to 4. Ito yun. So, kaya siya, wala siya, kala siya, kaya siya empty kasi hindi kasama yung 2. Ito kaya siya solid kasi kasama yung 4. So, ano ang intersection nila? Huh? Ang intersection nila ay itong part na to, no? Ang tanong kasama ba yung 2? No? Sa first graph, nasa baba, wala, wala siyang value sa 2. So, hindi sila mag intersect dito. Kasi yung isa 2, yung isa hindi, di ba? mag intersect lang sila pag pareho sila. Na 2 and 2, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, hindi kasama yung 2 sa intersection. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng uh, empty circle dito. Yung pinaka-result niya. Remember, hindi pa ito and, ah, yung nasa, yung dalawang nasa itas. It's not uh, and. No? Kasi, hiniwalay natin. Second is, mag, mag intersect ba to? Yes, may 4 tayo dito, may 4 tayo dito. So, definitely mag intersect siya. Kaya solid siya. And then, all the intersections in between. So, gagawa tayo ng solid line dito. Or line segment, if you will. Okay, so, yan, yung, yung part na yan, yung nasa iba ba? Yun yung ating oh, from um, 2 to 4. No? Ibig sabihin nyo lang yan, from 2 to Pero, saan siya galing? Yung 2 to 4 na yan, no? This is from, yung kanina, no? From negative infinity. Of, uh, sorry, sorry. Yun, yun, yun. Uh, from, from 2 to infinity. This is from 2. Ito is greater than 2. So, 2 up to infinity. Ikasama yung 2. And then the intersection nung uh, ito, ito, ito. Uh, less than or equal to 4. So, ibig sabihin, pag less than or equal to 4 siya, from negative infinity, maximum value niya 4. Which is may ganyan, no? Square bracket. Ang equivalent niya is itong part na to. No? Okay. Okay, so yun yung ating paggamit ng ating... Uh, set notation, ano? May, I hope meron kayo nagtunan din sa video na to. So, ito na yung pinaka-final answer natin. But if, you, but if you break, if you break the set notation using uh, two inequalities, then you will have this. So, intersection siya itong dalawang to. Okay, so that's it for our um, uh, notation, interval notation. No? Uh, I hope uh, familiar na kayo dyan kasi gagamitin natin yan from um, from here, no? Uh, yung mga susunod natin na videos, gagamit tayo ng mga 
uh, ganitong notation. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.